makes me become Italian. <laughs> no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. with the units heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grant committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. We've got a 1010 narcotic still in progress. Need a local unit on scene. Please proceed to Hell's Facts. Over.
Soldiers are engaged in a chase. Incident is active near Long Acre. Over. Long time no see. Here's your stuff. offer a webbing clause yet? A million dollar idea just waiting to happen. Report of a break-in. Additional officers needed in Times Square. Over. And we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! 
Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Drug deals and criminals, they go together like cookies and milk. Hey guys, you got prescriptions for this stuff? Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Cops are coming. I've been on worse terms with them, but why take chances?
Robbery reported. Suspects are armed. Officers needed in the East Village. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Ugh. You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make the light conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? Do you only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice! Is that enough? I need to keep up. like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later.